items needed for this beautiful windswept bonsai tray. Some rubber bands, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, your wire cutters, your flat nose pliers, small sat, and the silicone covered pliers. Gorilla glue, clear grip, love this stuff. And your beads, your seed beads. I chose to mix the greens and browns. Oop. I just want to add a little bit more depth to this tray. And it's very simple to make. You're going to love it. You're going to need 35 strands of your 24 gauge wire, gold, tarnish resistant. And let's get started. Is you're going to, if you don't have a bead spinner, just use a regular bowl. You're going to gather up as many of the beads as you can. Just feed it on through. We're, everything that we are using for this project is going to be in the description below with a link to purchase it and more than likely a discount code. So loaded about there, it looks like about 15 beads gathered at the middle. I'm going to grab it three at the very tip and you'll pinch and twist. Twist about eight times. That should do it. About eight times. Now comes the fun part. With the remaining beads, you're going to gather two at the top and one on the bottom. Hold the rest. The other hand, pinch, hold the wire, and twist. Twist it about five times. And you're going to continue to do this with the remaining beads, alternating. So we had two beads at the top, one on the bottom. This time we will have two on the bottom, one at the top. The reason I do this is to keep a nice even length at the bottom. Sorry for the background noise. Pinch and twist five times. And continue to do that. Two at the top, one at the bottom. And when you're twisting, you're going to want to really hold the bead part and twist, pulling slightly up with the wire so it keeps it nice, even flow. Two on the bottom, one at the top. If you get it confused like I just did, you can pretty much look at them and see where you had before. And I think I did that way. But you know what? Mm, yeah, we'll leave it that way. And you want it to kind of look like that before you spin. Okay? So when you do spin it, it's going to kind of just make that little triangle. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and we can do one more. Now 
we're going to go ahead and spread that out and hold it like so since we're right at the end. And that's that. Go ahead and repeat this for all the wire. You have 35 of your strands. You're going to take three of your wire and like every other tree that we put together, you're going to separate the wires and place them together right at the base. Like so, hold them right there, grab it at the base and twist so that they're together. And I would twist about five times. And do that with all of your wire. This is the fun part. All right depending on how you put your stems together. Some may have four, some may have only three. Okay, this is why I said it was gonna get a little tough on your fingers. I don't have my gloves with me, but please, if you have crafting gloves, wear them. And be sure you have your silicone covered pliers. Okay, meet it right there. Wrap it at the base and twist. And it's going to be hard, but you can do it. Okay, one and two. And the way the branches are going to be going is out this way for the windswept look. We're not going to try and design it now. We just want to get them together and get this trunk going. This is going to be joined right there again at the base and grab it and twist if you want to grab it a little lower to make it easier you can do that because sometimes it does make it easier if you get a stray wire we'll work it in this one we're going to put you Right there. Two. Whoa. We're going to get her. Put that aside for a second, and we're going to put this one together here, and then we're going to add it one there. Time to add that last one there. So we have these. Not everyone's tree is going to look the same, so don't sweat it. It doesn't really matter. When you see how you're designing it, it's going to look fabulous. So we have all that and that. I'm trying to envision this here. And we're going to do it like... Perfect. Okay, here comes the tough part. Now, we're just going to use the silicone ones. And I don't even.
even have my regular pliers. Not good. That's okay. We can do this. Talk about improvising. Now it's time to design your tree. What we're going to do is we are going to start to bend these forward, like so. Okay? And you have a lot of branches, so it's going to be beautiful. And you can kind of see the way that they want to go. So just bend them accordingly. And you have to spread them out because each one does have its own little branch. And I'll show you how to bend it with the tools after because it makes it so much easier to design than just using your fingers because then you always run a risk of hitting the other branch that you didn't want to touch. Okay, you're going to go out like that. That stays on top. You guys go in you're going to go in the middle when you start working with it you don't really realize how many strands you made this takes a little bit of time so don't rush it and design it the way you want it to look there's that little icon in the top where you can close caption and you can also change the speed of the video. So I'm going to make these roots quickly. Just separate it in three. And like I've said before, always go with what the wire is pretty much telling you to do. Always turn your roots the same way that you were turning from the start. Otherwise, it gets a little bit hard. Okay. Twist that like that. And there goes a stray one, so we're just going to go ahead and keep wrapping it with it. Beautiful. That's why I love these silicone tip ones because it works so much easier. You don't get stuck and pinched to death. All right, nice. Do the other one. Don't worry about messing these up because you're gonna play with those after again anyway. You'll be playing with those a lot. Okay, so you have these three here started. And we're going, oh my, I don't want to do that too much. I don't want to mess it up too much because that'll make my job harder. Okay, we're all right. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and section them off. Now we're going to separate these. It's a little hard to separate them, but we got this. <coughs> Excuse me.
if you don't have a pair of these silicone flat nose pliers the link will be in the description below and I always give a coupon code that you can use to get a discount and it's usually from Michael's crafts all this together and then separate it make it look a little more realistic and three go astray okay that's looking really good and then we can separate it here as you go with these trees and you start making them more um, it'll come so easily how to do these but if you're new I have videos from start to finish all tutorials um, for beginners how to choose your base how to make the branches with the beads gemstones and pretty much anything that you need and I will have a lot more videos coming out with my tips and tricks to make your life a little bit easier. And I do like to explain what I'm doing when I'm doing it. Instead of just having everything in time lapse and you've got to slow it down and there's no captions and you really don't know what the hell you're doing. Nothing against them, but I kind of like step-by-step -step tutorials for my viewers. And if nobody likes, you know, the slowness of it, do what you do, and you can always shut it right on and off. You will not hurt my feelings. Okay. And that one's a little... snip that piece off there because that's excess if you have just one stray wire left over go ahead and snip it you don't need it continue to do these other sections the exact same way and I'll see you back here the roots are finished I just have to curl them up I'm going to show you how to do that and then I'm going to put maybe some embellishments, na nature type embellishments around it that are just strays that we don't really need. And I'm gonna like kind of curly cue it around. And that one there. And I think that's it, okay. Make sure you have your rubber bands to hold it down and your Gorilla Glue, the clear grip. I love this stuff. The tack is so much better. Happens a lot faster than the E6000. I'm sorry guys, I loved you, but I moved on. All right. And to purchase that will be in the description below with a discount. So you bend it around, make it look natural. And I like to use the needle nose pliers, the rounder part, the larger part at the bottom. And I'm gonna just kind of twist that like so. Looks okay. And same thing over here. I 
I hope everyone enjoyed this video and I really hope you consider subscribing if you're not subscribed already. I try my hardest to make these videos interesting and informative for everybody, not just a real quick make a tree. I like to get a little bit more in depth with it because that's how you learn. So I'm just going to completely curl around because that was a thin one I added on. Nice. Okay, and continue. with these guys after. I really like the way the tree came out. Okay, now, top that guy there. You could just kind of push them wires down and see where they want to fall. And you're gonna have to manipulate some, like that. Just put them where you want, but I don't know. You will get a feel for this as you go on how the wire behaves and it definitely depends on the gauge you're using. Now this one has to get somehow engaged down in this groove here. I want it. So therefore I'm going to have to turn it like that. And you're going to go like that. I'm just going to hold it down as steady as you can and get your rubber bands on there. Whatever base you're using. I'm really, if you're gonna use a natural looking tree like this, you're going to create one, you wanna stick with the same theme. That nature theme. Then you're gonna twist your rubber band like that and secure it a little bit more. And it's very tricky with just one hand, but we're going to do it. I'm going to put it up to my chest real quick off camera. And there we go. Nice. Okay. This may need more rubber bands than I thought. Maybe not. This has to go down like that. So we're gonna put you right there. Beautiful. Nice. And we're gonna do one more uh, this way. I want that one to lay down a little bit better. And if the glue gets stuck on the rubber bands, we went over this in the last video, um, I will show you how to get it off. It's not a big deal. Okay, time to glue it. And these little ones that are gonna be sticking up or loose, we'll take care of those after the main section is dry. You just wanna get this securely on there as quickly as possible. Okay. That looks, I'm really, really, really happy with that. Okay, you want a nice big gob right there. And on the other side. 
you really want that to hold. And I'm going to have some fairy moss around the base and all around the tree itself. So I'm not too concerned with the glue showing. This particular glue does have um, a heavier fume. So you want to make sure you're in a ventilated area and wear a mask. And a nice big gob right there because that's part of the main base and back here as well. Right in there. And that will do it for now. Our tree is done. I'm pretty happy with the way that it came out. I hope that yours came out just as pretty. If not, don't be discouraged. Windswept's are not the easiest tree to make. And these are just a few embellishments that I put on. Some green, some natural sand and rock, and as always, my little Zen stone stack because I love putting them on every finished tree I do. If you like the video, please hit the like button and also consider subscribing.